Welcome guys, I'm you here, hope you're having a great day and in this video we'll tackle the very simple problem called FizzBuzz I'm sure you're already familiar with that problem it's usually asked on programming interviews uh, it's very simple to solve and you can solve it in any way but in this video we'll try to use recursion if you don't remember the problem, let me state it programmer is asked to print out the numbers from 1 to 100 and if the number is multiple of 3, then we should print out fizz. If the number is multiple of 5, then we should print out buzz. And if the number is both multiple of 3 and multiple of 5, then we should print out fizzbuzz. And if none of that is the case, then we will just print out the given number. So let's try to implement this with recursion. Okay, let's think about the recursion first. So for our function, for our recursive function, we need to define the inputs. And in this case, I think it only makes sense to have number, just a single number as the input. Because on each step, we have to decide how to handle a given number. And we just need the one number for a given step. So let's create the body of our function. Now this is the function, we are taking a number, just a single number and now we need to handle the number, one number at a time. That's the idea of recursion, you know, we handle things one step at a time. Uh, before we write any logic uh, with any recursive function, we need to think about the base case. So in our problem we are asked to print out the numbers from 1 to 100 so our base case should be that when number is greater than 100 uh, meaning we have already processed previous 100 numbers uh, we need to stop so this will be our base case so here we have it very important step a base case if the number is more than 100 then we are not interested in it anymore and recursion just stops now let's move on to the body. Now primary logic for this uh, step, for this uh, problem is to uh, detect whether number is multiple of 3 or 5 or both. So let's uh, create variables for that. Now we have these variables in place and it's already easier to read so let's uh, implement the logic. First thing let's check if number is multiple of 3 and 5. Now if that is not the case let's check if number is multiple of 5. Again, if that is not the case, then we need to check if number is multiple of 3. And in the end, if none of that is the case, we just need to print out the number. I think that's it. We have handled our current step, our current number. Now we need to move recursion forward, so we have to call our function again. Now it's time to test our function and call this fizzbuzz function with initial number of 1. And as you see, it seems to be working. For 3 we have fizz, then buzz, fizz, fizz, buzz, fizz, buzz. And I think that's, that's it. This is the result. It's, it's very simple and very quick. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, click the like button, subscribe and share it with your friends.